I believe with this career, I didn't choose it as much as it chose me. I, I was doing things for, for my children as they were younger and they would perform and uh, they were dancing and playing the pipes and they needed new kilts and things. So it's, that's how I got into it, um, making things when they were younger and they needed to. And then it gradually grew from there because uh, if people saw my kilts, they'd say, where did, where did your daughter get her kilts? I made it. Can you make mine? And it really grew from that, just one or two, five a year, and that's how it grew. I think I'm most proud that I've been there for 19 years, um, and it's been successful. Um, I'm able to employ local people. Um, I'm able to take local people's crafts and whatnot and promote them for that. Um, I have the opportunity where a Christmas shop is kind of a novelty thing, especially here in Cape Breton, um, to bring people into our village so there's off spin from my business that helps other businesses. In 2003, myself uh, and my husband, Gerald Jackson, who's my business partner, we had an opportunity to purchase a, a, a building and land in Wicogama and build on an existing business that we had of uh, bedding plants. So we started a garden center there. And through the time, although the garden center is still the anchor of our business, it's grown in other ways. We now have a floral shop. We have a little gift shop. And um, we have a restaurant in the facility. I was given the chance to buy the Corner Bridge store. I did everything in my power to buy it. And with the help of my husband, and with the help of my parents and my staff, we worked very hard and day and night, did everything I could to make it a success. And um, with, the, um, with the backup of my community and with the support I received from all my customers, I can say that my business was at first only a convenience store. Now we have added a bakery and we are now Petit Gras Post Office. Brandy's Country Cottage is a store that is not like any other store. It's um, set up in a way that when you walk in, you feel like you're walking into someone's home. It's a very welcoming, um, warm, and, and a nice feeling store. Someone once told me that when they walked into my store, it was like walking into a hug, and I thought that was quite a compliment. Probably the most important thing for me was having the courage to um, to t take the leap of faith and start the business when I was a single mother. Um, and just seeing my dream business um, evolve into what it is today, a successful business that um, I'm very proud of. I'm a registered massage therapist and I have been a registered massage therapist for 15 years. I chose the career because at the that time in my life it allowed me to have um, time with my children. I could work out of my home and then as my business progressed um, I increased my space and had people come in and work with me and um, I really enjoyed that part of it. I enjoy helping people and um, seeing them take the home care that I give them and use it and become healthier for it. I enjoy being a part of that. The fact that initially when I walked out the door to start my own business I had two very strong people walk out the door behind me from two different companies. They instilled in me the idea that they believed in me. There they were walking away from two established businesses, leaving money on the table, leaving clients on the table, and coming to follow me. They basically saw the potential and it's put the wind under my sails and for that I, I am so impressed. Why did I believe my business would be success? I've been quilting for over 30 years and having traveled all across uh, North America because my husband's retired military, I've had exposure to the industry from many different walks of life. And I was quite surprised when we moved to Cape Breton, knowing the, uh, the history of the crafts movement in Cape Breton, I was surprised to find that they weren't really keeping up with modern technology. And I felt that uh, I could bring that to the, uh, to the Cape Breton region. I feel I'm offering a service to our community that was not there. Um, people love to shop. We did all the um, clothing stores and most stores in the town have closed down. 
So people like to shop and I can give them a really uh, nice shopping experience um, and I have uh, quite a variety of items in my store of interest to a lot of different people. I'm proud of the fact that I'm, um, I've got a green business. I'm uh, taking old things, discarded things, and um, giving them new life.